Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Today I'm on my day off, thought I'd just take a wander down rather than previous couple of weeks where I've been out the door like a rocket at five in the morning and stuff. I'm down today at 1650, the main station where a lot of the activities happen. And I'm just gonna have a little look around and see what these activities are. In particular, the stuff in the forest here. So straight behind the camera here I have uh, the paintball. I'm going nowhere near that for obvious reasons. Uh, <laughs> don't want to get myself or the camera splattered or whatever. So anyway, here's some activities that go on in Lazor in summer. And that's the mountain bikers head up. This guy obviously preparing for the heat. Obviously not that well prepared for the heat. <laughs> and we're looking down on the, the main station here with the pump track we've got the the sledge on rails which is something I've yet to do I've sent plenty of my visitors down it I'll be doing that at some point myself and do a little video on it as well so uh, of course the pedestrians piéton as they say in French the guys just wanting to walk up experience what's happening up the top restaurant at the top there as well and uh, yeah, there's a lot of mountain bikes about. We'll just go zooming in down the bottom here a bit. And a lot of activities going on there. Bars, restaurants. It's almost lunchtime just now. I've stopped for a quick uh, drink myself as it is warm. 27 degrees at 11 o'clock this morning here at 1,650 metres. That is warm. So here we have the jungle adventure, which is basically high wires. I used to do this a lot when I was in Switzerland with uh, accompanying school groups around these guys getting their safety briefing off the screen here before participating in the course. Various different levels, green, blue, red, black, violet is the difficult one and yeah. Dogs about helping out. So the folks that haven't done this before, they will get assistance from this fella in green. Not only do they have the screen on the left of the lady there, but uh, they have a little practice wire there to make sure that they get everything right from the safety point of view. And then they'll get helped around this first little sort of mini course thing, just to familiarise themselves with the procedure, the feeling, etc. It's not just for the little ones, the big ones too. And yeah, they do actually have an area set up specifically for the smallies and all the other stuff about. You can see this is one of the bigger ones here where you have to walk up this uh, sort of stringy thing, and whatever. Some of these get up to a fair old height with it being on the side of a mountain as well. And various different things, climbing through sort of visible tunnels of wood and things like that. I've been told, they were speaking with a, a, an English group a little bit back there, and one guy was explaining to me that uh, one part of the course, it's a black level part, he was saying something to do with a skateboard up the top, so sounds a bit more interesting than when I used to do this over 14 years ago. <laughs> And that's the training run. So now she'll get told how to walk back or hand walk back up the wire. Some more dog assistance going on up the end there. Not so many people around with it being lunchtime, so I'll come back to this in a little bit. Go and look at someone else. This here is the arrival and departure of the Lorient Express. 
Lizar or Lorient. And it's a sledge on rails. <laughs> Yeah, so it's quite a fast one, <laughs> quite a good one. I've been on a few of these in the Alps as well, including the highest one in Europe. But uh, yeah, have a look at the next one coming down. You can usually hear them before they arrive. I'm not too sure exactly what route it takes from that top rail. Ah, here we go. So behind the Lorient Express, we have the paintball thing up there. Well fenced off for obvious reasons. I'm still not going near it. <laughs> so have a look down here again. Seems to be a few more people around. Don't look down. <laughs> so I head down from that lot to one little last thing here. I drive a four-wheel drive vehicle, my beloved Jaguar. Here's another option for going four by four in the forest. So that's it for today. We'll see what happens when I turn up here. Thanks for watching. So just arriving up, we have the scale adventure which will explain itself in a few seconds there so what we'll do is we'll take this bad boy out for a little trip on the rocks in the wood just a quick look over what we have here all sorts of stuff it's really impressive how they've got it set up and so as i say we've got this little bad boy here that i'll get a little demonstration how this goes Wow. And the course begins. It's almost like Top Gear in miniature. Of course you walk behind when you're walking next to it. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that this is the just the first warm-up course, a lot more difficulty and a lot of other stuff. So take it, this goes through the structure here, under, around and then over. de difficulté Non, non, non. c'est que, ouais, que, que euh, je suis on a... pessimiste. Comment Je suis un pessimiste. Oui, oui, non, mais tout à fait. En fait, c'est que on l'a pas, euh, on l'a laissé un peu comme ça et donc du coup, ouais. du coup, c'est le temps qui, qui grimpe tout le temps. Voilà. Ouais. Le temps que non, ouais. il ne voudra pas. And this is what they're calling a verification level. You've got to prove yourself on the easier tracks before they let you loose on this one. 
for obvious reasons, if this guy drops down from there. Euh, non, non, non. <rire> euh, oui, c'est... Euh... So that last bit was me driving, so let's have a closer look at these little buggies. Really flexible soft tyres. C'est quoi la suspension? Wow. Flexibility. C'est ça. C'est un vrai 4x4 aussi. 